Hello young friends how are you doing i hope that you are doing well and watching these episodes regularly do share with us in comment section how you find them i hope that these episodes are adding value in your life and that is our heartfelt intention welcome to yet another episode In the previous episodes you learned the art of mastering priorities by understanding the value of time and developing poise to prioritize around your highest goal by saying yes to the really important we believe that you are practicing heartfulness meditation regularly to follow your heart so when you close your eyes are you able to meditate properly Do you feel distracted by your thoughts? Do you feel heavy? Do you have fear of missing out? Then you are not alone. If you wish to tackle these challenges, then this episode is for you. We will together delve into another technique to unburden ourselves and live light. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time let us resolve to remove these impediments that keep us going in circles like mice on the wheel following the same behavioral pattern that make us feel heavy Let us ponder over these what is preventing me from leading a life of innocence and wonder what is buried deep inside my subconscious how can i free myself and live light what is preventing me from leading a life of innocence and wonder all of us were born innocent we lived a carefree life filled with childlike wonder far away from the knowledge of good and bad then we were told by our parents and society that what is good and what is bad it started there close your eyes and check what are the thoughts that come into your mind what kind of thoughts are coming up can you note them down are the thoughts of the past or expectations of the future either they are coming from the events of the past or anticipation of the future it could be anxiety because of some expectation in the future do you notice a pattern emerging your mind is either in the past or in the future Though meditation allows us to stay in the present moment yet the baggage of the past and expectation of the future seems to pull it why does our mind drift away from the present moment the hindu scripture says that we have lived many lives before and have reincarnated whether it is true or not but we feel heavy inside the effect of this baggage in our hearts is felt when we meditate our likes and dislikes create a pattern in our thinking these patterns are further strengthened by repetition resulting in tendencies the pattern forms an impression in us and gets deepened over a period of time it becomes a behavior and we are in its clutches now is meditation enough to let go of these impressions as we meditate on a daily basis preferably in the morning the heart starts experiencing pranavati also known as yogic transmission transmission is a unique feature 
of heartfulness transmission is like that breeze which awakens us to the subtle presence of something essential to our existence the godly sense it is like food for the soul and quenches our thirst yogic transmission also makes our existing tendencies stronger while yogic transmission provides us the poise to go deeper into meditation we need another technique to remove the baggage that exists is it this baggage which prevents us from leading a life of innocence and wonder let us look at an analogy say we go into a restaurant and order italian food the pasta fall on the shirt creating a stain what do we do we clean it what happens when we don't clean the stain the stain remains and let us say we don't wash it for a few days what happens then the stain deepens it goes deeper into the fabric as the stain goes deeper into the fabric and hardens it becomes difficult for us to remove that stain similarly if it is a different type of stain for example a coffee stain it is more difficult to remove it oil stains are even more difficult to remove depending upon the nature of stain the cleaning of stain become more and more difficult should we not clean that stain immediately as clothes accumulate stains and dust over a period of time so do we when we interact with people our conversations our activities interactions our expectations all of these create a stain in our subconscious these stains in our subconscious are known as impressions they are subtle our stains are imprints of our emotional reaction in our subconscious these impressions when deepen and solidify become what we refer to as samskaras let us watch a video on what are impressions What are impressions? All of us have the capacity to think and to reason. Our mind determines our actions. We see, hear, feel, and understand things. As life unfolds, we develop likes and dislikes. Our likes lead us to having desires. These desires motivate and guide our actions. On the other hand, we develop aversion to anything that causes pain. We strive to avoid pain, and that too steers our actions. Each desire satisfied intensifies that particular like, and each pain averted or unfortunately experienced intensifies that particular dislike. Each such emotion or perception leaves a deep imprint behind in our inner being. These impressions mold our future behavior and actions. Once present, impressions are just like encoded programs that run our behavior and actions on an automatic pilot, generally devoid of conscious reasoning and thinking on our part. It is difficult to be free of them, even when we consciously want to do so. That is why we very often observe that when we wish to change certain aspects of ourselves despite our best efforts we just can't seem to do so each day brings more of such impressions the daily cleaning activity helps remove these from our system we are then free of the effect of these impressions that influence our thoughts and actions once the inner self is empty of these impressions and the heart is free of grossness 
our meditation is then deeper and more intense. Wonderful. So we intend to free ourselves from the formation of impressions and their effect on us. These impressions interfere with our purity and simplicity. How do you simplify your life and live light while having fun with your strengths? Imagine the impressions that get formed while we fall in love. Painful events of loss of someone close to us, job rejections, emotionally charged interactions, break up in relationships, scolding and rebuke of our peers and parents. Imagine the magnitude of emotions that lay buried deep in our subconscious which are not revealed to anybody. Let's watch a video by Global Guide of Heartfulness affectionately known as Daji on formation of impressions or samskaras. How do you form samskaras? How do you form impressions? <clears throat> Babaji Maharaj gives a very beautiful example, sir. Where he says, when you are walking through a garden, you see a rose plant. It is about to bloom. You like that. But it's blooming slowly. Every day you are attracted. Oh, it's such a lovely rose. Time comes when you feel like holding it in your hands and smell it. Time would come soon that you would feel like taking the whole plant to your home, see. This is how we get caught up in the world also. With every little thing, either we are attracted or we are repelled. Either we like things or we dislike things. Under all situations, <coughs> our heart is the one that reacts to such things. The reaction of the heart defines the nature of the person. Suppose if I play some music now, some of you may like it, some of you may not like it. If an artist presented here some sculpture. One, only one person may like it, the rest of them say, Oh, I don't like this thing. Same thing about painting, same thing about perfume, same thing about clothing. It is our heart that reacts to it. There is nothing in the object. If I had nothing in myself, get attracted by, I will not be attracted to that object, no matter what. There is nothing in the object per se. It is my heart that is turning towards it or turning against it. In both situations, when we react with heart's involvement, then it forms impression. We form impressions when we repetitively think about something. Our minds are like a sponge soaking everything that we are exposed to. It is this baggage which prevents us from leading a life full of innocence and wonder. Our inner transformation happens gradually as we practice heartfulness meditation on a daily basis. But what about the outer behavior. Does this inner transformation show up in your outer behavior, in your lifestyle? Does it become an expression in our day-to-day -day life? It is left to us to adjust our lifestyles in tune with our inner transformation or inner state. What is buried deep inside my subconscious. Let us try to understand it with an analogy of an iceberg. The tip of the iceberg represents our conscious mind. 
this is what we can see but what we cannot see is the submerged portion of the iceberg beneath the surface of water that is our subconscious mind subconscious means beneath consciousness subconscious mind is the storehouse of long term memory previous life experiences beliefs values attitudes and the spectrum of emotions caused by likes and dislikes hatred our actions or inactions stress shame hurt and guilt subconscious is largely inaccessible to conscious manipulation here lies our dormant and subliminal impulses beneath the scope of our awareness when we are barely even aware of something how can we possibly change it the effect of all my past impressions and the expectations that are created by me and my society are embedded deep down in my subconscious knowingly or unknowingly it is there in my subconscious some of this baggage is what i am aware of some of this baggage from the distant past is what i am not even aware of the samskara roars to life when we encounter a situation that resonates with that particular emotion triggering that emotional state or memory these are the emotions and tendencies that bind us the conscious mind is influenced by the subconscious mind the flow of thoughts or chatter in the conscious mind has a cause in the subconscious that is why we are not able to meditate properly while leading a life of continuous refinement to become the best version of ourselves and live light we need to remove these impressions from the very root of our subconscious how do these underlying impressions in our subconscious affect our being it makes us feel heavy and influences our actions by just changing the behavior outside we cannot get rid of the impressions and tendencies that are rooted deep in our subconscious if the external expression of civility is not backed by genuine feeling in our heart it will create a discord then the feelings emotions thoughts and deeds would not be in alignment deep down inside we may harbor a prejudice but outwardly cover it up with civility and expression of politeness others will figure it out and smell it that i am a hypocrite and not being authentic and that's why the need to integrate the inner and the outer and live authentically how can i free myself and live light now the fact that i have my baggage and i am also aware of it how can we remove it do you want to get rid of them and become light heartfulness offers a technique to remove these impressions in bulk from the very root of our subconscious this technique is called cleaning it is recommended to be done in the evening you do your cleaning as soon as you reach your home after your day's work is over you will feel rejuvenated the added benefit of this is once we are free from this baggage our mind becomes naturally calm and our meditation soars to a different level it complements our morning meditation and reduce the flow of our thoughts that were created due to the impressions buried in our subconscious the cleaning is all about inner hygiene it makes your consciousness crystal clear it removes your fear let's watch a video by daji on it
we get rid of this baggage of emotional emotional baggage and when we free up this space inside i think you can expand it for better qualities you see and as we become better and better with these things you become i think so sensitive that even the very thought of getting angry will upset you will disturb you so you cannot get angry it's not that you will not you cannot <laughs> you lose this ability slowly and slowly automatically without planning to become kinder or loving or compassionate you automatically become that so this practice of cleaning allows us to become light and resplendent human being to summarize what we discussed today our baggage prevents us from leading a life of innocence and wonder The baggage consists of impressions of good and bad stored in our subconscious that influence our mind during meditation and interactions. What is buried inside my subconscious is an emotional residue of all my past interactions and future expectations. This burden does not allow us to live light and expand our consciousness. It is through the practice of evening cleaning these impressions are removed enabling us to live light Unlike heartfulness meditation which is a passive process heartfulness cleaning is an active process and requires alertness of the mind and use of will power Let me take you through a guided heartfulness cleaning Stay tuned and follow the instructions. Sit in a comfortable position with the intention to remove all the impressions accumulated during the day. Sit comfortably and close your eyes softly and gently. Imagine that all impurities and complexities in your body are moving to the back of your upper body. Now imagine that the impurities and complexities are starting to flow out as smoke. from the back of your upper body beginning with the back of your head they are slowly moving out from the back of your head and from the back of your neck in the form of smoke The impurities and complexities are also now leaving from the back of your shoulders. They are flowing out as smoke. And now from your upper back and lower back from the back of your entire upper body impurities and complexities are flowing out as smoke
from the back of your entire upper body, impurities and complexities are flowing out as smoke. Gently accelerate this process. Accelerate the flow from the back of your head. And from the back of your neck. Imagine the complexities and impurities flowing out faster from the back of your shoulders. from your upper back and your lower back. From the back of your entire upper body, impurities and complexities are flowing out as smoke. Imagine that the flow of smoke is getting faster.
all impurities and complexities are leaving your body in the form of smoke from the back of your head from the back of your neck from the back of your shoulders your upper back and lower back from your entire upper body impurities and complexities are flowing out as smoke From the back of your entire upper body, impurities and complexities are flowing out as smoke. This process is getting faster and faster. All impurities and complexities are leaving your body in the form of smoke from the back of your head, from the back of your neck, from the back of your shoulders,
your upper back. and lower back. Feel yourself getting lighter as the impurities are leaving your system. Imagine that the flow of smoke is gently tapering off. Feel that all impurities and complexities have now left your body. We are now ready to begin the second part of the process. Imagine a current of purity coming from the source of all creation and entering your heart from in front. This current is flowing into your heart and spreading throughout your system. Every particle is getting saturated in it.
Imagine every particle of your body is emanating lightness and simplicity. Imagine yourself returning to a more balanced state. Now gently open your eyes. <laughs>